to run Facebook's seamless M40, the latest model that Facebook has released, all-in-one multimodal translation model on free Google Colab. That's exactly what in this video we're going to see. It's a very simple one-click step, all thanks to Kemendru. Kemendru, who is known for releasing all these collabs of these large language models, have managed to already release 19 hours ago the seamless M40 collab notebook. And we are going to explore that notebook and then learn how to run the model and also use the graphical user interface to do all the four tasks that Facebook lets us do that. First of all, make sure that you start the repository, which could mean a lot for this developer and go ahead and then click the open and collab link. Once you click the open and collab link, the Google collab notebook will open in itself. All it requires is the T4 machine, which is available as part of your free Google collab. Make sure that it is on the hardware accelerator T4 GPU. Most likely it should be. Then all you have to do is run all. This will give you a warning by Google just to say that this notebook is loaded from GitHub. The user might request you to give data access and all these things. Just make sure you don't give any access request. That's all fine. Then click run away run anyway. Once you click run anyway, it's going to start running. Meanwhile, I'm going to quickly show you all the libraries that are required for us to use. One is fair seek two. That is the library that is like, it's a, it's a library that Facebook uses to connect with all their existing models. Then we are using data sets and Gradio, primarily Gradio in this case, um, for us to have the graphical user interface. Then we have got seamless communication, which is the repository from Google, Facebook meta AI that has got all these codes for a seamless communication, the seamless M40 model. And once you have that, you can clone. I mean, what is it happening is you, it's cloning the content and then start running it. So that's basically what is happening here. This is going to install all the libraries and it's going to run everything. After it runs everything, we're going to get a Gradio link, the link that you can click and then access it. Try it out on your local machine. If you have got a GPU, this should work pretty seamlessly without any issue. Just the same set of steps. All you have to do is if you have got a GPU with a Linux machine, you just have to run this on your terminal and technically it should work pretty much fine. Or you can click file say uh, save uh, download this as a jupyter notebook and once you download it as a jupyter notebook you can open it in your local jupyter notebook and then start using it at this point as you can see it has started downloading the model files it is downloading the seamless m40 large model all the required models have been successfully downloaded now we have got the gradio link as well all you have to do is click the link once you click the link it is going to take you to the gradio link i mean anybody from the world with internet access can basically access this and uh, let's look at this radio application so it has got a couple of parts the first one is where you select what type of task you want to do so you want to do speech to speech you want to do speech to text text to speech text to text and just simply asr automatic speech recognition so you've got five different types of tasks and for each task you can select the particular set of languages that it supports you have different languages for different cases. For example, if you select text to text translation, then you would get a new set of languages that are available. For example, if you see like the language Malayalam is available, if you select text to text, but on the other hand, if you select speech to text, you would not see Malayalam being available. So there are different languages for different tasks. So something that you need to pay attention to and also make sure that, you know, it is supported by seamless M40. After you have made sure what is the target language, what is the input language, and also what kind of task that you want to do, then the next thing is you need to decide whether you want to use a file to upload or you want to use a microphone and then speak to it. So for this particular demo, at least, we'll use a microphone and speak to it. And then there is a button that is called record from microphone and then it can take. One thing with speech to text is you can speak in one language or multiple language. It seems to be working fine so far whenever I've tested it, but let's see if it works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select English as my target language and I'm going to speak in the microphone in two languages that I kind of understand. One is Tamil, that is my language and the second one is Hindi. So basically what I'm going to say is like my name is um, One Little Coder and uh, this is my YouTube channel. I love making YouTube videos. That's what I'm going to say in both the languages. Let's start. Click Allow. In order pair One Little Coder. எனக்கு யூடியூப் வீடியோ போடுறதுனா ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் நான் நிறைய யூடியூப் வீடியோ கண்டினியூஸாக தொடர்ந்து போட்டுக்கிட்டே இருக்கணும்னு என்னோடைய விருப்பம் நான் ஐம் கோட் டு ஸ்பீக் இன் ஹிந்தி மேரா நாம் ஒன் லிட்டில் கோடரு முஜே யூடியூப் வீடியோ டால்னாக்கா பவுத் பசந்து மை இங்கிலீஷ் மை ஹிந்தி இஸ் குவாய்ட் ரஸ்டி பட் லெட் சி ஸ்டாப் த ரெக்கார்டிங் கிளிக் ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் நான் வென் யூ கிளிக் ட்ரான்ஸ்லேட் இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு டூ த ட்ரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஃபார் யூ அண்ட் இட்ஸ் லைக் லைக் ஐ செட் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் 
experiments that I did, it managed to kind of translate in multiple languages and gave me the final unified output, which I find quite fascinating, but let's see if it does it. So it says my name is one, this is the translated text. My name is one little coder. I love watching YouTube videos. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos continuously. Now I'm going to speak in Hindi. I think it didn't catch this Hindi one. Let's see. My name is one little Carter. I love watching YouTube videos. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos continuously. Okay, so it didn't manage to do the Hindi part. I don't know if it is because of multiple languages. But anyways, you can see that it says my name is one little coder. I mean, sometimes you use different words. Um, I was trying to say uploading, but the translation kind of didn't happen very well. So I'm going to try out another language, which is now I'm going to try Hindi. I'm going to record again. I'm going to say मेरा नाम ओन लिटिल कोडर है मुझे यूट्यूब वीडियोस डालना का बहुत पसंद है मैं बेंगलुरु का वासी हूँ इट्स अ वेरी टेरेबल हिंदी आई एम जस्ट लाफिंग एट माई सेल्फ वेन आई स्पीक इन हिंदी बट लेट्स सी इफ इट कैन ट्रांसलेट सो इट डेड सो माई नेम इज यूनलित कोडरा आई लव पुटिंग यूट्यूब वीडियोज आई एम फ्रॉम बेंगलुरु सो लेट्स लेट्स हियर माई नेम इज यूनलित कोडारा आई लव टू पुट यूट्यूब वीडियोज आई एम फ्रॉम बेंगलुरु Okay, uh, it has done a decent job. I, I don't I don't expect it to catch catch when I said one little coder, but I think it has done a decent job in doing all these things. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to speak in English, and I'm going to ask it to reply back in some other language that I guess like one of you who are watching this video would do it. I'm going to pick Russian here. Um, I mean there are certain languages that I quite find fascinating. So I would had had there been Arabic, I would have always wanted to try Arabic. Now probably I would uh, try Russian and also Mandarin Chinese. So oh, they have got modern standard Arabic. They called it Arabic. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start. Um, my name is One Little Coder, and I love making YouTube videos. I want to make YouTube videos all the time, and I want to educate people as much as I can by learning new things myself. Stop the recording, and I'm going to click translate, and uh, it's probably going to take less time. So the fascinating thing is here is that it, we are running the large model, but still it is taking lesser time. So that's another thing I kind of like it. It's me one little coder. I love the sound of the video on YouTube. I want to make a video on YouTube for a long time. And I want to train people with the best possible way through learning new things by teaching new things to myself. Wow, that is good. Um, I don't know how the translation was, but I kind of liked what what the translation was. I don't know how the translation was, but I kind of liked what what the translation was. So I'm going to do a different language now, and I'm going to do Russian. So let's do Russian here, and I'm going to just click translate, assuming that it would pick up the input audio that I already have. All the while, all these times, what we are trying to do is we are trying to use the speech to speech of seamless M40, and then trying to translate into one of the languages that it supports. Let's listen to the Russian. Меня зовут один маленький кадёр. Я люблю делать видео на YouTube. Я хочу делать видео на YouTube. Я хочу обучать людей как можно больше изучать новые вещи сам. The final one that I want to try is I want to try in Mandarin Chinese and I want to see how it goes. Click Mandarin Chinese, click translate. I mean, if you imagine like you want to start a YouTube Shorts channel, I mean the ability to record in one language and get multiple audio output is quite amazing. Definitely this model is not available for commercial purpose. That's a gray area that we have. but still the capability of one model doing multiple translation is like still mind blowing i'm trying to get over the fact that this is freely available for us let's listen to mandarin chinese what the name is one little code i like to make youtube videos i always want to make youtube videos i want to make more people to learn youtube okay so for what we have done we have uh, learned to speak in different languages like i spoke in hindi i spoke in tamil and then we try to translate it in english and we also had a mix of tamil plus english plus hindi uh, which did not go well and we also spoke in english and translated to multiple languages i kind of like it but i don't understand a lot of things so if you are one of these speakers of either arabic or russian or mandarin chinese please let me know in the comment section how does it go so the next task that we are going to explore is speech to text translation so he, this is very simple so instead of giving you a speech output it is going to give you just the text as an output so i'm going to click translate so it's going to give us the text as an output so the target language you can select whatever language you want and it it has given me french so this is basically uh, the french output for the english text that i have given and it works quite straightforward the next one is 
text to speech translation. So where you have to give an input text and then it is going to give you an output language in itself speech to text. So I'm going to select Hindi and I'm going to say my name is one little coder and I love making YouTube videos. One of the reason why I picked this sentence is because this sentence has a, like a keyword, like a proper noun, and it also has like a brand names that are typically not very common. So let's listen to it. Mera naam lit like dar hai aur mujhe ubu video banana bohot pasand hai. Jo video banana bohot pasand hai. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but when you notice, it is trying to read one little code or a YouTube like as Hindi word. I think that is where it makes a mistake because these are like proper English brand names. That's a mistake that I could notice, but let's try a different language. In this case, maybe I want to try Spanish. And uh, if you're if you're somebody who speaks Spanish, let's see. So this is the input text and we are going to get a Spanish audio output. My name is Lit Lecoder and me encanta hacer videos de YouTube. Okay, it it didn't say one, but it's a little coder and uh, it kind of, I think, said that I like making YouTube videos. So this is working pretty fine. And then the next final one is text to, to text. So you can give an input text and you can select an output language and it is going to give you the output language. In this case, I'm going to give Tamil as an output to see if it does a good job because I can read, of course, Tamil. So it says end of the pair, one little coder. That means my name is one little coder, Matrum and non YouTube video clay would work with a will be I love making YouTube videos. It's a perfect, perfect, 100% perfect translation. In fact, it managed to transliterate YouTube. So instead of saying YouTube, so it, it, does, it did a good job of making YouTube in Tamil. So I'm kind of fascinated by this text to text is quite amazing. And fi finally, we have got a sir automatic speech recognition. So this just simply takes a long audio clip and then gives it to us. We already have an audio clip, so I'm going to select a different language. In this case, I'm going to select Tamil and I'm going to click translate. And let's see what it does. Um, I guess it just recognizes that. Okay. It says another pair, one little coder, non YouTube video clay, Uruak Virumbigrain, non Epodum YouTube video clay, Uruak Virumbigrain, Melum Inal Mudin the Varai, Pudia Vishangale Katrukol within Mula, Makale Pair Pika Virkirin. It's a very proper, literal, I mean, very literal Tamil, like a literature Tamil. And it does exactly what I said. It says like, my name is one little coder. I love making YouTube videos. I want to make YouTube videos all the time. Mailum. And as long as I can, I want to learn something and then teach people about what I learned. I think it has done a tremendous job. Uh, to be honest, it's a very good translation overall. And the fact that you can run all these things on free Google Collab version, the largest model is quite amazing. Once again, a big thanks to Kemendru for making this easy for us to run it. All it requires is just click of button, you get everything. And people are asking about how much RAM it has been taking. And uh, you can see that um, it, it, you can see it has taken up to like 6.4 gigs of RAM here. Uh, VRAM, this is, uh, this is the GPU RAM. And uh, we have got like 37 gigs of uh, storage that we have already occupied. I think our model is about 11 to 12 gigs. The remaining could be like the proper OS storage. Overall, I think it's quite good, quite fascinating. So if you, it seems like if you have got a, uh, GPU machine that has got less than even like 10 gigs RAM or less than 8 gigs RAM, you should be able to fairly simply run this, the large model. And I think the smallest model that they have released should be also compatible enough to be run on edge devices or, you know, Py uh, PyTorch mobile. Uh, I'm quite fascinated to test that all also, but for now, go here to Kementor's GitHub repository, click this, which I'll link it in the YouTube description, run all, you'll get the Python. Uh, grade your link and all you have to do is click the link and then you will be fascinated. I hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to run seamless M40, the one model for high quality translation and everything to do with speech AI. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.